Hi everyone and welcome to the Cardiac Rehabilitation Warm Up. This video is for you to follow in conjunction with the home exercise program booklet that's been provided by the Cardiac Rehab team. If you have any questions about any of the exercises shown during this warm up or in your Cardiac Rehabilitation Home Program booklet, please give us a call. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start our warm up by doing some light stretches to loosen up the upper body. Remember, if you've had cardiac surgery, just be extra gentle with these stretches. The idea is to try and build a little bit of flexibility and not to injure your sternum. Nice and careful at first. We're going to start our warm up marching on the spot and we're going to go through all of these upper body stretches first. Starting off, bringing the arm across the chest, get a hold of the back of the elbow here and try to gently pull that arm across your chest. You're doing a little stretch down the back of the shoulder here. And we're going to hold these stretches for around two to three seconds, feeling the gentle pull and then change up. Again, bring the arm across the chest, get a hold of the back of the arm here, and feel that gentle pull here. Nice and steady, keeping the feet moving and just feeling that gentle stretch. Give your arms a little shake out there. For the next stretch, bring the arm up, pop your hand between the shoulder blades and try to gently push that arm up. Trying to feel a gentle stretch down here. Now I appreciate some of you may have problems with your shoulders, you might find this a little bit harder. We just want you to take it to whatever point you feel comfortable with. And if you practice this regularly, you can build that flexibility in the shoulder. Change arms. If you're already particularly flexible and you find this exercise quite easy, you can bring the hand up and pull that arm up a little bit more nice and gentle low. remember we're just warming up your arms a little shake out there the next exercise popping your hands in the lower back stand up nice and tall and try and squeeze the elbows together at the back try and feel a gentle stretch across your chest here particularly important if you've had surgery to take this stretch nice and gentle we don't want to injure you pectoral muscles that have taken a little bit of bruising during the surgery. Arms a little shake out there. And then last upper body stretch. Now the hands out in front and try to gently reach forward. Feeling that stretch around the shoulder here. If you want to increase the stretch, you can drop your head forward. And relax. A little shrug of the shoulders and just gradually increase those arm circles to whatever you feel comfortable with whatever you feel your range of motion is we're just trying to loosen off this upper body and get it ready for the exercise perfect okay next i'm going to do some leg stretches we're going to try and loosen those legs off a little bit so again we don't injure them when we do some harder work later on in the workout so i'm going to use a chair here for a little bit of support it's up to you whether you need that but we're going to start off doing a couple of leg stretches for your calves so we want the chair you can bring your foot back pop the heel on the floor at the back and try and gently lean forward just trying to keep that heel down feel that stretch down the back of the calf. Hold it for two seconds, three seconds, and then change your legs. What we don't want with these stretches is to be bouncing. Other people make that mistake. We don't want to really force it either. It needs to be that nice, gentle stretch on the calf. And again, give your legs a little shake. Send that little mark on the spot. In our next stretch, we're going to try and stretch the back of the leg, big hamstring muscles down the back of the leg. For this one, thinking about your posture, we want to take one leg out in front, bend your other leg so that we're keeping
keeping the weight on that. We can use the chair for a little bit of support. Keep in good posture. We're going to try and lean forward from the waist. So we're trying to keep this really good posture and lean forward from the waist. What I don't want to see is this rounded position that we've really rounded the back. We keep a very good posture and feel that stretch right down the back of the leg. Again, changing legs. Weight on the bent leg, nice straight leg, and just leaning out, stretching down. Holding it, make sure you don't hold your breath, keep breathing throughout these stretches. And give the legs a little bit of a shake out there. Okay. And now we're going to do some side steps. I'm going to try and loosen off these hips a little bit, try and loosen off the lower back. A lot of people have problems with the hips and lower back and can find that they're very tight when we start to exercise and get a little bit of pain and discomfort. So if we can try and loosen them off a little bit before we start the main exercise, hopefully that will help. I'm going to bring the sh feet to shoulder width apart, put your hands on your hips, and you're going to try and circle around those hips. Try and loosen off that lower back, try and get those hips moving a little bit more freely. Nice and gently, whatever you feel comfortable with. Circle them back around the other way. Nice and steady. Try and get a bit more freedom. Nice and easy. Remember to breathe. It's an important part of the warm up. And back to a little march on the spot. Perfect. Now, last stretch for our legs. We're going to try and stretch the front of the thigh muscle. There are two ways to do this stretch. So if you find the first way a little bit difficult, we can try the second way. Holding onto a chair for a little bit of support, we're going to try and get a hold of the foot and stretch the front of the thigh, looking to maintain a good posture. For those of you who can't quite get hold of the foot, the other way to do this is to point the toe out behind so you have a nice straight leg, thinking about a good upright posture, and push that hip forward and feel that stretch right down the front of the thigh there. Nice and steady, and then changing legs again. We can use a chair for support, or we can use the wall. And try and stretch that thigh, thinking about good posture throughout. The alternative, nice straight leg out, and try and push the hip forward. Nice and steady, and back to a little march on the spot. Perfect, that's the stretches done. Now we'll get warmed up properly. The next part of our warm up is to slowly build the heart rate up and get the body going a little bit. We want to get that blood pressure increased and get that heart rate up in a nice safe way so that you can work much harder when we start the main workout. So first things first, we're just going to start off tapping the feet out in front. Nice and steady. If you struggle a little bit with your balance, you can use a chair for a touch of support, but most of you should be okay without that. The idea of this warm-up is that you're all taking cardiac medication that's designed to slow your body down, lower your blood pressure, lower your heart rate, and it also lowers your body's response to exercise. So if we go from sitting very relaxed to suddenly working incredibly hard, the body tries to go faster, but it can't quite keep up because the medication's sitting hold on a second, let's slow down. And we're going to lift the toes up, bang on the heels, so hopefully by going through a nice gentle warm up like this we're going to be able to get the body up to speed so that your heart can handle what you're going to throw at it in the later exercises okay so your breathing should only be nice and controlled at this point we're just trying to tell the body to get started and then we're going to go for a little walk on the spot we're always trying to keep the legs moving while we're exercising. The body will be pumping blood to the major leg muscles. And if we stand completely still, there's not enough movement to send the blood back up to the heart. And that blood can pool down in your legs here if you're standing completely still. And that can sometimes, in conjunction with your medications, cause your blood pressure to drop a little bit. So always try to keep those feet moving. And now we're going to try some little knee raises out in front, nice and steady. Now again, if you need a chair, you can use it for that little bit of support. 
but if you're okay just taking those knees up in front remember this is the first part of the warm-up we're just getting started think about your breathing think about how you're feeling you should be nice and comfortable at this stage no real concerns excellent and back to a little march on the spot now if at any point during the warm-up you feel any pain or discomfort any adverse breathlessness you start to really struggle with what you're doing i want you to slow down and catch your breath if it's pain we'd like you to have a seat try and keep your feet moving and look to use your gtn spray if that pain isn't resolving through resting ideally you shouldn't be getting any problems at all so our next exercise we're going to do a little step back and feet together a little step back and feet together again you can use a chair for that little bit of support as you're doing this the further you step and the more bend you get on that front knee the harder this exercise is so for those of you whose knees maybe aren't as great we can just take a little step back nice and steady for those of you who are feeling very fit today you can get that nice big lunge just trying to warm the body up Perfect. excellent and come back to a march on the spot how we feel so our next exercise a nice full side step try to really get the legs moving side to side now keep those arms working a little bit you can see we're starting to ramp the speed up a touch as well provided you feel okay provided your breathing feels okay and you're feeling like you're in control of what you're doing you can up that speed a little bit just trying to slowly tell the body that we're going to work a little bit harder remember this is just a warm up. We're not supposed to be exhausted at this point. Excellent. How are you feeling? If you're feeling as though your breathing is starting to increase, that's perfect. If you're very puffy and panty, you're struggling to keep up with what we're doing, you must slow down. Take smaller steps. Take that pace down a little bit get your breathing in under control if you're feeling good get that pace going perfect now back to a little march on the spot get that pace going a touch more well that's the first part of the warm up that is designed to tell your body that we're doing something now the next part of the warm up we're about to move on to We'll be to try and up that heart rate and blood pressure a little bit more. Let's see how we do. So the next part of our warm-up is to try and get you working that little bit harder, get that heart rate up a little bit more, get that blood pressure up and really get you working. Now we're going to increase our speed a little bit, try and get these arms working as well with the legs and for the particularly fit out there, when I say to walk on the spot, if you're feeling good, you could maybe even try a little bit of a jog on the spot. But for now, I'm just going to be walking. We're going to get this body working a little bit harder. Starting off first with a tap out in front and a curl up of the arms. So we're getting these major arm muscles working as well as the legs. Remember, if you've had surgery, it's very important that we do get them working, but that we take things nice and gently. What we don't want is to be throwing our arms around all over the place and end up with any pain or discomfort in our sternum because of that. Remember as well, if you feel breathless, if you feel exhausted, slow yourself down. Any chest pain, stop, keep your feet moving and follow your GTN protocol. Okay. And we're going to lift the heels up, taking the arms out straight in front. So we're looking to get those shoulder muscles working a little bit. Looking to get your body warming up a little bit more, involving more muscle groups, 
asking the heart to pump more blood around the body. That's it. Again, nice and steady. Try not to get that chest moving too much, too violently if you have had surgery. And back to that little arch. Again, like I mentioned before, if you're feeling okay, you can try a little bit faster on the spot here. Being aware of your breathing, being aware of how you're feeling, and whether or not you need to slow it down that little bit, or whether you can keep up a comfortable pace throughout. Next one, we're going to try our knees up again. This time, trying to go a little bit faster, and maybe get the knee up a touch higher. If you're feeling very good, if you're well balanced and you don't struggle, you can take the knee across the body. Trying to get a little bit more intensity in the movement. You can, of course, always use a chair if you need that support as you're doing it. But if you're feeling okay and we don't need it, we can do it with that. Good. Keep it going. Do a few more. And back to that little march. So you should be feeling as though your breathing rate's starting to increase a little bit. Mine certainly is. We're going to get the intensity up yet again. So we're going to do our lunges again, like we did in the previous part of the warm up, which involves stepping back bending your front knee. We're going to try and increase the pace a little bit and if you're capable as you step take your arms out in front. Obviously if your balance isn't perfect you can keep hold of that chair and leave the arms out. If you're feeling good get those arms working as well and increase that speed. We're trying, we're trying to get that heart rate to increase, that blood pressure to increase. Start to feel warmer. Ah, and back to a little march. Thinking about your breathing, it certainly should be faster now than when we started. Your body itself should be feeling warmer. Your muscles maybe woken up a little bit and feel as though they're more capable of working a little bit harder. Shouldn't feel exhausted though. Should still feel comfortable, able to talk, not so breathless that you're really panting at this point. Good. We'll now do a big step to the side and try to kick your heels up behind the body. We're trying to work big hamstring muscles on the back of the leg. So that step side to side, kicking that leg up. Okay? And again, if you want to go faster, you can. If you want to make the step bigger, you can. If you're struggling with your balance, you can bring that chair in front and just use it for that little bit of support as we're doing it. Trying to work that big leg muscle on the back of the leg. If we don't need the balance, if we're okay without the chair, we can bring a bicep curl into it. It asks the body to pump more blood around, more muscle groups involved, harder work for your heart, getting it working faster, pumping more blood. Good. A couple more. And come back to that march on the spot. Should definitely be feeling a little bit warmer now. Really starting to work that little bit harder. Really good. Our well, last exercise, just to get this heart working, to be aware of what's around you so that you've got plenty of room. I'm going to try a fast step forward and a fast step back. Trying to keep the weight in the balls of your feet, trying to keep you nice and balanced, dynamic movement, and get those arms punching as well. 
keep it going. If you're feeling good, you can get that pace up a little bit. Starting to breathe a bit now. Starting to get a bit warm. And back to that march. So, that's your warm up. You should certainly be feeling warmer than you were when you very started. You should be feeling as though your heart rate's increased a bit, your breathing rate has increased a bit. You should feel as though you're ready to do some harder exercise. You shouldn't be exhausted, you shouldn't be so breathless that you need to sit down. You should be feeling really ready to go. Okay. I hope that was a good warm up and you're feeling ready to do the exercises in your home circuit booklet. Have a look at them. If you have any problems with any of the exercises, there are some short instructional videos on how to perform each exercise. And I hope you get a great workout for your heart.